Today we will begin the teddy bear sewing project by cutting out the teddy bear patterns. Here's the bear pattern. We have the two foot pads, the two inner ears, as well as the muzzle. You need to cut along the dotted line. There's a dotted line around the edge of the bear, as well as the foot pads, the inner ears, and the muzzle. Make sure you cut along the dotted line. This is very important. To make things easier, easier, you may want to cut the, the foot pads, the inner ear, and the muzzle away from the teddy bear. I'm going to start by cutting out the bear. So I'm going to take this in my left hand and I'm going to cut along the dotted line. So we want to try to do this as quickly and efficiently as you can. It does not have to be perfect. It does not have to be extremely neat. This is just the paper pattern. You do not have to be exactly on the dotted line. Okay? So we want this to take anywhere from about two to three minutes of class time. So I'm hoping that it's under the camera right now. So I know that there is a small portion of one of the teddy bear hands that is cut off and we will fix that once it's pinned to our chosen color felt that you are going to make your teddy bear. So you have to remember that I'm not in a studio. I have my camera or my phone attached to something called a camera clipper and then clipped to a cabinet and I'm sitting on the floor with some white paper underneath. So I hope I'm catching this all on camera. So now I'm taking my foot pads and I'm cutting again along the dotted line. It does not have to be perfect. I want to get rid of that. That's in my way. I get rid of it. Whatever makes it easiest for you to cut. I'm going to hold here, and again, I'm going to quickly go around and cut along the dotted line. So there's two foot pads. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that. And now I'm going to start working my way around the inner ear. So I'm just going to go right across to the next one, and then cut along the dotted line. Cut along the dotted line. There's one. Again, it does not have to be perfect. There's my other one, and then I have my muzzle. And then all the extra scrap papers will go into the garbage. So I'm just placing them to the side. You will eventually put it in the garbage. So at this point, I have my teddy bear, I have a muzzle. I have two foot pads, two inner ears, whoops, two foot pads, a muzzle, and two inner ears. So what you're going to then be asked to do is put the muzzle and the foot pads together, then put the two inner ears, you're going to place them all here so they do not get lost, and then I will be giving you a paper clip. Okay, that way it keeps this safe for the next step or the next day in class. That's the end of step number one. Step number two of the teddy bear sewing project is to evenly pin together the two pieces of felt for your bear in each corner. You're going to have your two pieces of felt if you haven't already. Please make sure you've taken the stickers off and they will go into your garbage pail. I'm going to make sure they are about the same size you're either going to be using your magnet or a pin cushion and sharing it with somebody at your table. So you're going to take a needle, oh, not a needle, I'm sorry. This is a needle and a needle should not be on your magnet, so I'm gonna put that to the side. We will be using pins at this point. Okay, so this is a flat end of a pin. You're going to take this, I'm gonna to try to get it closer to the camera, you're going to go through both pieces like that and then I'm going to push it back up. So you want to see the beginning of the pin and the end of the pin and the middle of the pin and the back. So what I'm doing is I'm pinning 
two pieces of felt together, down and then up. So again, watch, I make it look really easy and then some students have difficulty on bringing it down. I'm taking my finger and then pushing it up. I'm going to do that one more time. It is moving a little because I'm doing it up in the air. I'm going to put it down and then up. So you evenly pin the two pieces of felt for your bear in each corner. That is step number two. So now is step three of the teddy bear sewing project, where I'm going to pin the paper bear pattern to the two pieces of felt. So you're going to have your inner ears, your muzzle, and your foot pads attached with a paper clip. You're going to take those off, leaving the paper clip on. I'm going to try to do this backwards so it's easier for you to see. So you're going to need about six pins. Basically what you're going to be doing now is you're going to be pinning the paper to the two pieces of felt. So now you're going through two pieces of felt as well as a piece of paper. You're pinning just like you pinned the two pieces of felt, but now you're going through paper. You want to make sure that the ears are on the top edge of your felt. I am aware that the paper is going to hang off. That is okay. So right at the top here, I see my black line. I want that right at the top. There is a mark for a pin. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go up. You want to make sure it doesn't move on you though. Mine just moved. So I'm going to fix that because I'm going backwards too. I'm going to do it down and I'm going to go up. I'm going to take another pin. I'm going to move it so again my ear is on the felt. Again my paper is hanging off. That is fine. So I'm going to lift it up and turn it and try to show you. So I go down. There's my, my pin. I'm going to then push it up and bring it back up to the top flip it over. So the, the, the inner ear is right on the edge of my felt. I'm going to then move down. I'm going to take a pin. I'm going through the piece of paper. I'm lifting it and poking it back up. So you're seeing the beginning of the needle and then the end of the needing, needle. The middle of your needle you're going to see on the back side. So again, I'm having a little difficulty doing it upside down. Do another pin. And then again, you want to make sure my feet are actually fitting. Some pieces of felt are different than others and are different sizes. Most of them should work. If you're off by a tremendous amount, call me over and I should be able to fix it. So down and up. At that point, See, you have your paper bear pattern pinned to your two pieces of felt. I'm going to move on to the next step because we're all going to be doing this at the same time. So at this point, you should have a half piece of felt for your inner ears, your foot pad, as well as your muzzle, which I didn't have cut, so I'm quickly cutting now, okay, so this is my chosen color of felt. So now I'm gonna take my paper clip off. Doesn't matter what this looks like because all you're gonna then do is put these all down on your half piece and you're gonna do the same thing. You're going to take and you're going to pin You're going to take and pin down and then up just like you've been pinning. My muzzle down and up. Again, I make this look easy. Some people are going to have difficulty just putting the pin through. You want to especially make sure on the inner ear your pin is not going this way. It should go where the mark is should not be going on the black line along the edge because you will have to cut along the edge 
eventually in the next step. So at this point, all my paper patterns, this is step four, I've pinned my paper foot pads, my muzzle, and my inner ears. Next step, next step will be step number five, which is gonna be hard, but is doable.